let's start with the ground, just add a plane. Then subdivide and increase fractal a little bit. I'm going to import the assets that I'm going to use. This asset pack is free on my Gamrod. The link is in the description. Okay, so now bring the models to the scene. And I need the textures for the ground. I can add all the PBR textures at once. Select the shader and press Ctrl Shift T. If it doesn't work, make sure not Wrangler add-on is activated. Select your textures. Now I can scale up the texture here in mapping. And I need to create a camera. I can place some models just to find the angle for rendering. I'm going to use cycles. For lighting, I want to use an HDRI in World Properties, add an environment texture. This image is from polyheaven.com, the link is in the description. In Shader Editor, I can switch to World, so I can rotate the HDRI. Just select the texture and press Ctrl T, and just move the Z value to rotate the background. Now I can add more models to the scene, just place them where you want. I'm trying to cover the area that I'm going to render. Now I can add some props to the scene. And I can use geometry nodes to distribute the objects. I made a tutorial on how to scatter objects with geometry nodes. You can find it on my channel. But to save some time, I'm gonna use the Vagapai add-on. I want to use scatter paint, so I need more geometry here. Select the faces, then subdivide. Now I can select the props, hold shift, select the plane, then press J and click scatter paint. And I can start painting here. In the end panel, in Bagapai, I can change the density and give some random scale and rotation just to randomize it and they don't look all the same. Now this is a desert, so I need some dust, so I can use volumetrics, just add a cube, make sure to cover the whole place. In materials, add the volume scatter and connect into volume. We need a very low density like 0 0.005 in word properties I can lower the strength add a sunlight now in light properties increase the strength of the sunlight I can thin the color and maybe sample the sky color Now just rotating the sun until I find what I'm looking for. I can also increase anisotropy. This will scatter the light in one direction. Now the problem is that the props looks very clean. To fix it, I can blend some materials. To do that, in Material Editor, add a new principal shader, 
then connect both shaders with a mix shader. Now add a gradient texture. Then a color ramp. Choose a color in the shader. With color ramp I can control the gradient but it's not the side I want so select the gradient texture and press ctrl T now in rotation I can set minus 90 on the Y axis now increase X axis I can add a mix color then add a noise texture and connect into mix color now I can change the scale and increase detail with color ramp I can control the visibility now I want to duplicate the volumetric cube and hide the first one duplicate the material basically it's the same as the material for the props just add a gradient texture then a color ramp with ctrl T add coordinate and mapping Then add a noise texture, add a mix color between coordinate and mapping, scale it up and increase detail, add a color ramp. Now I hide the first polymetric cube and now I can play with color ramp and modify density until I find something that I like. And finally, if you want to add people to the scene, we can find characters on mixamo.com, it's free. We can also find on Sketchfab. I hope you find something useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.